Colin Coward is back in the news today for a tweet that he put out a few days ago, and it got a, it got the internet and Twitter all riled up. And I didn't hear about this because I don't follow Colin Cowherd, but I was paying attention to your show, Will Game on Sports Picks podcast this morning on Rumble, and I saw that Colin Cowherd was in your title, so I went on your show, I took a look at it, and I just couldn't believe it. Colin Cowherd was once a respected sports journalist, uh, maybe depending on who you asked several years ago, but more recently, Colin Cowherd is just pissing a lot of people off. And here's another dumbass take that he tweeted two days ago. And uh, let's just go ahead and take a look and read the tweet. Because the economy is now so political, the fact inflation is down, job growth is accelerating, unemployment is only 3.7%, and the uh, DOW Jones is over 39,000 gets pushback. Here's what I know. U.S. casinos won $6.5 billion last year. Go back to yelling at the sky. The economy is okay. What an out-of-touch elitist loser Colin Cowherd is. So I heard some of your points this morning. He was pretty articulate, and that's why I wanted to bring you on, because I know if I were going to make this video alone, it'd just be me screaming and cussing at the camera and my microphone at Colin Cowherd. But I wanted to get a more uh, articulate, well-spoken take on this whole thing. What do you think about this fucking idiot with this tweet? He's just out of touch, man. It just goes to show, I think the average American, and and this doesn't matter if you're on the left or the right, it doesn't matter. I mean, everyone who goes to the the working class, who goes to the grocery store, who goes to the gas pump, who sees their insurance, their health insurance premiums go up 20% year after year, yet they're getting the same health coverage, if not worse, yet their deductibles for their health coverage is, is, is insanely high. Everything is going, because rents are going up. I mean, everything is going up. And it does not feel good if you're a working class American and yet you have he's not the Colin's not the only one right here. We're seeing this from a lot of a lot of elitists. They Mm. just are so out of touch with middle America and what it's like to try to go live day by day, paycheck by paycheck. They just sit there and think, hey, look at that. I mean, let's go through this real quick. And the fact that inflation is down. I mean, there's still inflation. It's just not as rapid as it was before. Right. Job growth is accelerating. Yeah. In the government sector, not in, not in the private sector. That's usually not good. Well, let's take into uh, account that several years ago, well, a few years ago, uh, during the pandemic, during the lockdown, everybody was losing their jobs. Businesses mm-hmm. were shutting down. Sp- small businesses were told you can You cannot operate, but Walmart got to stay open. Yep. Other, other big, you know, huge stores were allowed to stay open, but your small business, no, you got to shut down. And some of those businesses never recovered. And now all of a sudden, a few years later, now that Biden's in office and now we're not on lockdown anymore and, and COVID and the pandemic, you know, it's not, you know, it's not hurting anybody anymore. So yeah, unemployment is only three point seven percent, and they're giving Biden and this current this current regime um, in office right now all this credit for bringing back jobs. But you're bringing back jobs that were already there that were only lost and taken away because the entire world was on lockdown. And that's what I mean, like when I say the average American uh, is seeing this, because when you take like, you know how it's politics, you're going to take shots at both sides. But when Biden comes out and takes a shot and says Trump, you know, whether you like Trump or whatnot, you cannot disagree with this. The fact that Trump's job numbers overall during his presidency were negative was because of the pandemic, because they shut people down. And then so when Biden comes out and says, oh, the, the only president in the last X amount of years to lose job or to, you know, have less jobs than when he went in was pre- Trump. And look at me, I'm at record breaking ones. And it's like, no, like you just said, that wasn't you create new jobs. That was people getting rehired because we were getting over the pandemic. So it's just, it's one of those dumb things that they keep hammering and and it's just like this colin goward wants to hammer this he wants to say the jet dow jones is at 39 uh 39 000. it's basically saying the stock market's at all-time high my stock portfolio is doing great what do you peasants have to be mad about when he doesn't colin realize coward, the who average, makes million the dollars American, a year yeah and the average american doesn't even have stocks you know what i mean they don't care if the dow's up down do going sideways it doesn't matter but when you are an elitist prick and you sit here and you want to you know talk down to us and tell us that that hey 
you need to shut up and enjoy the fact that you have a job that you're barely getting by. You probably are way in debt, but hey, me and my buddies, me and my casino buddies, me and all uh, other elitists here, we're raking in. We're living good. You just need to shut up and go to work. Yeah. I mean, well said. And the thing is, when Trump was in office, what did he do? He started drilling in America, oil, mm -hmm. American oil. And then what did Biden do? Shortly after he got in office, shut down shut the Keystone down. Uh, Pipeline, not just shut mm -hmm. it down. They demolished it. They destroyed it. And they started buying oil from overseas again. When I was living in California last year, during actually during the shutdown, gas was getting up to $6 a gallon. Now living in Florida, you know, it's you find it like two ninety, dollars you know, $3, maybe $3.20 here and there, depending on what city you're in. But Florida has generally had lower and cheaper gas prices. But in California, during the pandemic, it was getting, it, it was up past $6 a gallon. And that's because this current administration has completely destroyed the Keystone Pipeline, and now we're buying oil again from overseas. But Colin Cowherd, who makes several million dollars a year, he's not worried about it. He doesn't care. And and you yeah. have to think, you have to think, because, so so we'll go to Colin Cowherd. He had a follow-up tweet. So this follow-up tweet was just posted 40 minutes after his first tweet about all this. And I'll be posting any positive economic data I can get my hands on for the next few months. In essence, I'll be the balance on this hell site from the 24-7 fire hose of negativity, positive data, good news. It may drive, it may drive some of you even crazier. How much money do you think Colin Cowherd is making from the Democratic Party? To say, to say this, to put out this, this important, this important economic data. How much is he well, making from the Democrat Party? It's all they have. It's all they have is to keep trying to put it out there and keep like say it into existence. Like it might, it's not true, but we're just going to keep saying the economy is good because we want everyone because it's an election year. He's not the only one doing this, by the way. This is yeah. it's it's just different uh famous people from all across different platforms you see it in hollywood you'll see it you know you'll see it everywhere you go uh they'll come out and say hey no 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 the economy's doing great look at these numbers by the way the numbers that let's let's be frank they uh they can fudge those numbers however they want and mm -hmm. they always go back and revise them down months later so it's just it's just what what have you done for me now and 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 we're going to just gaslight you and lie to you and say hey no the economy's good you need to shut up and and you know you know Trump bad. <laughs> it's basically what it comes down to. Yeah. And what I was trying to get at, I had replied to his first comment there and yeah, it, it got yeah. some interactions. What I was just saying was I said, you know, hey, how about you go buy a gallon of milk and some eggs and compare to that to what that was like five years ago? And a lot of people push. I mean, they got a lot of likes on it. Right. But a lot of people that did comment on it that push back what they weren't understanding was what I was trying to say was the average American knows that every, you go to the grocery store and things are insanely high compared yeah. to what they used to be. Yes, we understand inflation works and over time, things are just going to cost more. That's why when, you know, 100 years ago, you go and get a soda pop for five cents or something like that. I get that. But over a short span of time, things aren't supposed to jump up that fast. Uh, when things like eggs, butter, milk, basic things that you need to make any sort of meal right, right is is up then you know everything else is up and people feel this and people aren't stupid yeah the only it, people that are stupid are the elitists that are blind to this that want to just keep looking at their their numbers and saying oh yeah look at that the dow jones just hit an all-time high so i mean we must be doing good <laughs> yeah, completely out of touch. I mean, when I go to the grocery store and I meal prep, I try to plan meals for uh, at least a week. And when I go, I'm spending still on groceries. And we're talking, you know, beef, steak, chicken, tortillas, yeah, milk and eggs and likewise, you know, bread. I, I mean, I'm paying $150, $200 and that's just for me alone. Mm -hmm. So like everybody is struggling. But these elitists like Colin Cowherd are going out and saying, well, my stocks are good. My checkbook's good. Uh, so everything else must be okay. You know, I'm going out on my jet ski and I'm having a good time on my vacations. So uh, you guys just need to shut the fuck up and go to work and work your nine to fives and be slaves, you peasants, because my life is great right now. It, it, it's let's, it, it pisses let's me the clear. fuck off. Yes, it does. And me too. And let's make this clear. This is like I said, this isn't a Republican or Democrat thing. This is this is. This is a, a both party deal because it's not just Correct. the Biden, Biden administration has made some dumb policies, in my opinion, and uh, I don't like them. But Congress is the one 
proposing and passing these spending bills that have yeah. caused a lot of this inflation. So it's politicians on both sides. And what I'm getting at is, once again, I'll keep saying this, the average American is feeling it. And, and the, the, these elitists don't understand. They don't understand why why Trump is pulling so well. It's because, hey, we 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 don't care what you do to the dude. We are sitting here and we feel it every single day and something's got to change, whether you're left, right, center, don't care. You know, mm -hmm. you feel it. If you're just in the working class trying to get by and provide for your family, I don't remember the last time I went to Walmart and didn't spend a hundred dollars. <laughs> like, oh yeah, you used to be able to spend a hundred dollars at Walmart and get a cart full of stuff. You know, yep. it's crazy. Yep, it's crazy. And and the, we're printing billions of dollars, sending them to trillions, four, to trillions. trillions. Oh, and and yeah. we're sending billions to foreign countries for yeah. a war that we have nothing to do with, and mm -hmm. we're paying taxes on top of it while they're printing all of this money. And we have mm -hmm. idiots like Colin Coward. We're supposed to be focusing on sports, talking about sports, sports stories, players, teams, and the current season of whatever uh, professional sport that we're in. But no, this idiot in an election year feels the need to preach to us about how we are complaining about this current administration and the current just the climate of our country and uh, well, and that's why this is such a big deal. Normally, I like to keep away from politics and sports. I mean, sports is supposed to be an outlet. This is where we're supposed to go and get away from all this BS in the day to day life. But when you bring it into sports, correct? When you bring it, I mean, you are a national radio. Listen, I used I listen. I used to like Colin Coward back. I thought it was he's a legend, dude. It's impressive what he used to do back in the day to go three hours. He got me into listening to sports radio, right? Mm. It, whether he had, I know he has some kooky takes and whatnot, whatever, but he used to, you could carry a show for three hours. As someone that gets on the microphone and does this now uh, every morning, I'm, I know how tough and how impressive that is. Don't get me wrong. The guy was talented. He's just so out of touch and it's crazy how fast legends fall and just uh, they start getting this money i actually blame every ever since he moved to la i think it's just that whatever the water <laughs> what's in the water over there but he's just they just get so out of touch with middle america because he used to be kind of a blue collar kind of guy you know what i mean he used to be he he came from my state he was actually only a couple hours from where i grew mm. up we grew up in roughly the same kind of environment and then now here he is just preaching to us peasants because we don't fall in line it's, yeah. it's insane i've never been a big fan of colin cowherd i feel like he puts his foot in his mouth a lot of times and he also backtracks and contradicts himself uh comes off as a hypocrite um you know more more often than not nowadays but i understand he did have some fans for you know several years but like yeah, back the, in the day back in the early espn days he yeah. was he was a different different cat I, I get why people hate on him i hate on him now too so yeah. i mean i'm not defending the dude i'm just saying he you can't you can't ignore the talent the dude got to where he got for a reason you know yeah but it, it's like but, that quote from the dark knight you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain and colin coward is seeing himself become the villain right now yeah, he's 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 pissing on people's legs and telling them that it's raining. You know what I mean? That's yeah. Like <laughs> well, what was it? It was just three weeks ago. He was telling NFL fans that they're not really NFL fans because they're mad at Taylor Swift showing Taylor Swift. And he goes, "Oh, you know how you know how much football they actually show in a in a sixty in a sixty minute game in a sixty minute game yeah. a three hour you know telecast uh, telecast is actually only eighteen minutes of real football. You're like you're not a real NFL fan. It's like, dude." Shut the fuck up. Whereas up. years ago, he would have said, you know what? These NFL fans, fans is short for fanatic. What do you expect from these fanatics? That's what's right. going to happen when you deal right. with fans. That's how he would have explained it, right? He mm -hmm. wouldn't have tried to attack you. He would just been, man, fans are wild and they do some crazy things. You know what I mean? He, he would have related it that way instead of just saying, God, look at you peasants. Look at you plebs. You shouldn't even be. Yeah. You sh don't even deserve to watch the NFL. You know, I mean, it's yeah. just insane. to where I'll say, you know, he like I said, he puts his foot in his mouth more often times than not nowadays. It's sad to see, sound to see the uh, sad to see the downfall of Colin Cowherd, but Colin Cowherd making the news again uh, the past few days for all of the wrong reasons. But Will, <laughs> thank you for joining me uh, to talk about Colin Cowherd and his tweets and and your tweet, your reply tweets, getting a little bit of action here. So you'd love to see that. But uh, I kick it back to you guys in the chat. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Share it with a friend who you think would enjoy it. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. And we'll talk to you again soon.